Welcome to this short tutorial explaining keyframes, and their use within LumaFusion. A keyframe is something that defines the start and end points of any transition or animation within a set video segment. By understanding how they work within LumaFusion your videos will be completely transformed. So let's begin. Keyframes can be broken down into three main segments that are individually used to create a single effect. They can be used on their own, or all together. The three different segments are cropping, size and position, and finally color and effects. All of the segments work off the same basic principles. There is a timeline and this is used to mark points during the clip of where you want a specific item, how you want it to look, or what part of the screen you want to be cropped. On the following example keyframe, there are a total of 30 frames per second, this is because the frame rate for my video is set to 30 frames per second. Each click of the directional arrows move you along one keyframe at a time. It's important to keep consistency when adding keyframes to the timeline so you get a smooth transitional effect. In the following example I've added two titles to my timeline. One of them a shape and another some text. They are separate as I want them to have different timings and not act as one. Entering the shape keyframe, I've added a rounded opaque shape that I want to use to give a background to the text. After entering the frame and fit section, I've set it to grow into view. I've done this by adding a keyframe at the start by pressing the plus icon and changing the size to the smallest possible. I have then added a keyframe at the 1 second or 30 frame mark by clicking across 30 times or just by sliding the timeline marker across until it says 1. I've then changed the size of the shape to 100 which automatically adds a new keyframe. Now let's go into the title for the text keyframe and go into the frame and fit section. This time I want the text to be revealed from the middle outwards. I do this by going to the cropping section and moving the timeline marker to the one second point, as this is where I want the cropping reveal to start. I then add a keyframe and move the cropping top and bottom sections to the middle of the screen. I then move the timeline marker to the two seconds point and move the top and bottom crop section so all the text is visible. Any changes after the initial keyframe is set, a marker is automatically added. Stopping in the same text title frame, and for the final part of my example I want to add a text effect that follows the sun's path in the video behind the keyframe. Entering the color and effect section I've added the twist effect, and added a keyframe at the start of the clip. I've positioned the effect over the sun and given the effect an angle of 300 degrees so it interacts with the text in the same direction as the sun is moving. I've then added a keyframe at the one, 2 and 3 second marks and reposition the effect over the sun's location at that point in time. At the 2 second mark I've changed the angle slightly to 320 degrees to give it some anti-clockwise motion. At the final 3 seconds mark I've changed the angle to 180 degrees and changed the radius to the lowest level. This gives it an opposite twist before coming fully into focus. This is what the finished effect looks like. So to summarize, each of the sections have their own timelines which work independently to create one overall effect. They can be used to create more advanced or simple effects to enhance your videos. There are some more examples on my channel for you to download for free. This is a great way of learning how they work and improving your keyframe skills. Please leave a like and a comment if you enjoyed this video.